what we're looking at here is a beam that has been notched and I'm going to make a video after this one to provide you with a little more information on things that you can and can't do or should and shouldn't do should I say when it comes to notching a beam around a wall plate. Now in this video I'm going to cover what most engineers consider to be acceptable when um, notching a beam for uh, whatever reasons. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first illustration. We have a square beam and uh, this video just basically applies to the top uh, notch. Now this is basically what would be acceptable for most engineers they, that I've ran into and they usually allow you to cut a 45 degree angle um, one quarter uh, from the top so that you if it, you would measure down the side and divide it into quarters so for example if you had a eight inch beam then you could divide it up into two inch increments so you'd measure down the side from the top two inches and then you could uh, angle up 45 degrees now this has been uh, something that I knew as a general practice that most engineers would approve but I need to make a point to you and that should be that uh, if you are going to notch any beams it wouldn't be a bad idea to get approval from a structural engineer uh, before you do so because uh, you could end up weakening the beam uh, severely. Now here's a better example of something that you would run into maybe notching a beam around a top plate again which I'm going to try and cover in the next video to give you a little more information. But you can clearly see that if we divide the beam up into, into quarters on the side that um, this notch isn't going to work. I mean let's take a look at here something that would be acceptable. The white area would be acceptable but cutting the notch out of the beam at the uh, like this wouldn't be and again this is more of a common practice here than uh, cutting something at a 45 but you might need to do that for a roof and this is actually a real situation I ran into we had a large paralam and you can see it right there sticking um, out of the roof. Well, there was no way I was going to cut this beam without the engineer's permission. And it took quite some time to get their permission because this was a problem. And, and they actually ended up letting us cut the beam, which to me, it is hard to imagine uh, because I realize how much strength is removed from the beam once you cut it like that. But again, once you have the engineer's permission, and I'm not talking about permission over the phone either. I'm talking about something in writing. Otherwise, you can plan on having problems with the building department and the building inspector. So again, make sure that you're aware of what you can and cannot do. Um, and remember to check with your engineer the information I'm sharing with this video might not be acceptable in all situations.